Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's test your drainage knowledge. You know, as I posted this video the other day, it occurred to me why the sand is all on one side of the pit. So I'm asking that question. Why is the sand gathered all on one side of the pit and not the other? It's a great question. And I'm going to give you guys all the clues and all the information here in this video. See if you can figure that out. Test your drainage knowledge. Okay, let's take this lid off of this sump basin and take a look and see how much sand or debris actually got down into this pit. There's a couple more screws. Let's take a look. Let me bring the camera over here. Okay, you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, lift up this float so we can pump it out a little bit. And that little, what looks like a leak, that's the pressure release. Remember what that does? It keeps it from uh, getting air locked. And yeah, you can see, there's a little bit of sand here. Not much, a little bit. Mostly just right here on this side. Don't know why, but it's just right here. On this side, just nothing down here. So nothing really got into the pit. So as you watch that first clip, you notice that I said, I don't know why the all the sand is gathered on one side. Well, that kind of bothered me because I should know that, right? So I thought about that and I figured it out. And I'm going to see if you guys can figure that out too. Let's take a look at all the clues. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, let you see how we build the pump. Remember how we set the pump up? Everything that's involved. Why is that sand on one side of the pit only? So here's the first clue. Remember that we drilled a 3 16 inch hole into the first riser. This is to prevent the pump from becoming airlocked. This 3 16 inch hole, the weep hole, is before the check valve. So only water comes out of that hole when the pump's on. After the pump stops, the check valve keeps the water from coming back down. So that's clue number one. Now we're continuing to set up the Zoller M98 half horsepower pump. We went ahead and glued it and you can see that pressure relief hole. You see it? It's before the check valve. That's clue number two. Okay, remember the Zoller M98 is a very powerful pump. It can actually lift up half inch solid so it can lift up a very small rock you know up to a half inch and it'll push it right through that pipe right through the check valve that's how powerful the Zoller M98 is so here's the final clue clue number three if you remember that video from before I talked about pump placement saying that it's not really important and it's not but that's clue number three where that pump is sitting in the pit is all part of the reason that that sand collected on one side only. Test your drainage knowledge. Why is that sand on one side of the basin? Have you figured it out yet? Remember, when I lift up this float, you'll see it looks like a leak. That's the pressure relief valve. Some water does come back out you know, into the basin. And you'll notice all the sand is on that side of the basin. That's why the sand is there, because there's a pressure relief valve. Again, I had to think about that because I had mentioned, you know, I don't know why, but now we do. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.